Hi guys and welcome back into my kitchen. As you can see, it is um, Halloween and I hope everybody is okay at the Matthew's Friends cooking channel. Um, today, I've got two kind of spooky recipes just to share with you. Um, Julie was grateful and she sent me these low carbohydrate um, wraps. So I've kind of come up with two recipes today using these with a Halloween twist. So let me start with the savoury and then I'll show you a sweet one to do as well. So I've got so, um, sausage meat. So Black Farm is um, one option uh, that you can use, but if you, get, if you can't find sausage meat, then you can use um, turkey, chicken, pork, mint, whatever you can kind of get your hands on too. So I've got that in there. I'm just going to add a little bit um, of pepper to this. I'm going to add a little touch of salt. And then what I've got in my bowl here is um, pureed black olives. Um, you can buy tapenade. Just check, obviously the ratio would go with the brand that you trust. I've just taken some black olives and I've just literally processed them. So I'm gonna add that into my sausage meat and I'm gonna just give that a couple of rounds. You can add mixed herbs, you can add some garlic, you do some onion powder, whatever you kind of wanna do. I've added the black olives just because they're kind of the color. Um, I want these to be a little bit spooky looking, but again, great flavour. Something that we don't use all the time in keto cooking, but um, really good store cupboard essential because you can keep them in the pantry. Um, and then that's all whisked together. So as you can see, it's kind of turned a nice black colour. I've then got some MCT oil, and then I cut the wraps into strips and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some baby mummies um, so I'm going to just take uh, about a walnut size of the sausage mix and I'm going to kind of roll that into a capsule shape and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap around the blow wraps just to make it look like the mummy is encased. Try and get the bits underneath. So they look like this. Pop them on a baking tray and then with a little paintbrush and the MCT oil, I'm just going to brush all of that wrap and cover it in the MCT. So again, you'll have more time to do this than me, but just spatch away and then make sure the bottom of the wrap is underneath. So again, you can put them then into the oven. Um, 160, 170 for about 10, 12 minutes, depending on the size that you um, make them. So let's get rid of that. We can bake them and I can show you that at the end. Um, the next one is a sweet version. So I've got um, one of my wraps. I've got butter and MC2. I'm going to put that in the microwave and just melt that. I've got some cream to serve this with, and I've got some cinnamon, and I've got some powdered icing sugar sweetener and some cinnamon mixed together, which I'm gonna sprinkle on the top. Um, you need a pastry brush for this. Let's get rid of that paper. Let's check our butter and our oil. They're melted together. So what you need to then do with this is just be liberal and brush both sides of the wrap with this. And you 
you can do this and leave it for a little bit it kind of absorbs more fat so if you need a higher ratio and you need to use that little bit more butter or a little bit more mct oil you can do so there's one coat on one side and i'm going to just give it another quick coat from this side So you can leave that for about five, 10 minutes and that will absorb all the way into that. And then on your second coat, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these orange because it's Halloween. So I've got some um, orange food color in. And I'm just gonna add a small amount of the butter and the rest of the MCT oil. And turn this a nice pumpkin orange. Give that a mix around. And again, let's just go in and give that its second coat, just so it turns it a nice orange colour. You can do black, you can do purple if you want. You don't have to do any colour, but it is Halloween and we all like a little bit of fun at Halloween. And brush all the way over the top. I've got this on a cooling wire over a tray because um, I'm going to put these in the oven and dry them out um, so they become like a nacho. So there's that. Sticky work. And then I've got the icing sugar and the cinnamon. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dredge that all over the top and you can do both sides of this. The sweetener will get absorbed into the fat and the cinnamon will flavour the whole lot. I've done a, a savoury version for this for um, bonfire night so I'll show you that on the bonfire night video. Flip over again. I'm going to save a little bit of it back just to go into the cream, just so it's got the same flavours all over. But again, just get that all through on there. So both sides are coated. Flip again and get all of that on there. So then with some scissors, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that into triangles um, and then place them on there so we can pop them in the oven with our baby mummies. These are great because they kind of go all crunchy and this is something that we're kind of lacking in um, keto. Great for lunch boxes, um, great for movie night on the sofa great just for snacking on and you can make these ahead of time and keep them in an airtight tin. Let me just rinse my fingers and I'll show you what they look like. So they're ready to go in again, 170. Um, if you haven't got the cooling wire and you're going to just put them directly onto a baking sheet, you'll need to turn them over halfway because they'll stay kind of um, wet underneath. So the whole point is this, we want to dry it around. If it's on the rack, the air can circulate all the way around and dry and crisp these up. So I'm going to put them in the oven, I'm going to put the baby mummies in the oven, and then when we come back, I'll show you everything together. Hi right, guys, so we've got the baby mummies out of the oven. I've just attached some of these um, little sugar-free eyes that you can get. I got these on the internet um, just to make them a bit of fun. I also serve them with some um, blood sauce, which is just your sugar-free tomato ketchup. And then we've got our um, cooked and cooled um, cinnamon nachos, really crunchy. You need a snap on that, really nice. So just to finish that with the dipping sauce, I've got some double cream and I've got the rest of the sweetener and the cinnamon there. I'm going to just stir them together and put that in our bowl. Okay, 
go to lunchbox is great for snacks or when you're watching a film. Um, I've got some um, orange glitter. So I'm just going to put that on top of our cream because everything needs a little bit of glitter. Um, and then I'm just going to spray with some gold over the nachos just to kind of bring them to life and make them look a little bit more Halloween-y. So you can keep these in an airtight um, box or a, a seal bag. If they start to go um, a bit soft, you can always put them back into the oven. Um, let them go completely cold on the rack and then they'll become um, hard. When you first take them out of the oven, they'll still look a little bit soft, but as soon as they cool, they'll go crisp. And again, um, the baby mummies, great for lunch boxes, but also great for kind of Halloween parties and um, snacks. So have a go. Um, let me know, send me some pictures and um, happy Halloween. And I'll see you next time back in the kitchen. See you later, bye.